All right, here we are in a beautiful Camp Verde, Arizona morning looking at a really sweet, actually handling a collection of a few cars here, and we'll probably do more over the year or so. Anyway, very neat, period style hot rod, 1932 Ford Roadster. Um, Model B Roadster, it's a Model B chassis. It is all steel. We'll walk around and tell you what we know as we walk around. Cool car. Underneath the hood here is a uh, hopped up flathead V8, 276 cubic inch motor in there. We'll spend a little time underneath the hood with you. Has a uh, modernized uh, 39 Ford transmission in it. In the back it has a Columbia two-speed axle. Um, so it's got some really good period style stuff. It has a uh, 36 uh, Ford wishbones in the rear, which is really neat. We'll actually spend, we've actually spent some time up on the lift and studying the car, and we're gonna, we've got a little bit of its history, so as we walk around here, we're gonna tell you what we know. These fenders are all Henry fenders. They're beautiful fenders. This one's had a little bit of reinforcement added right here, but we've studied the car very much, and the fenders are beautiful. Um, so it's got a hopped up flatty in the underneath the hood. So it's a Model B with a Model 18 flathead V8 in it. So when we say period style hot rod, probably 50s, 60s style. Not overly modified. Car's got a really neat little history to it. Um, this gentleman purchased uh, this car from a buddy um, that he'd known way back in the since the 60s or so. And uh, he had owned this hot rod for many years, much exactly as it appears today. Um, but he decided he was going to build a, uh, wanted to build himself a high boy hot rod, so he wanted to take the body off, which is something that his friend, the current owner, advised him not to do. Um, but uh, he was just going to use the body and uh, build himself a hot rod, a high boy, on a mod modern chassis, that kind of thing. Um, anyway, a deal was made, which was a good deal. And he purchased the car, every component from the car except for the body. So it has a Brookville steel body on it, which I think is a good thing because the car is stronger. It's a better body than what was on the car because it had a few small patch panels, that kind of thing. So he purchased the full rolling chassis, powertrain, everything, much as you see the car right here, with the exception of the steel body itself. So all the trim that came off the car, everything, the fender paint on the car, is the paint from there so he reproduced the paint on the body with the uh, period style lacquer and uh, nitrocellulose I'll get it right I don't know if I got that right or not but you know what I mean so all Henry steel fenders all Henry steel chassis model B chassis flathead V8 with an updated stronger Brookfield steel body most people would not know this difference but it's all steel and it's a heck of a lot stronger and you know it has no uh, corrosion. Look at the reflections in the side of this car. This is a really neat car. Um, the top is the original top that's an older from you know but this uh, body changeover was done about 20 years ago so the car settled very nice. The car looks great. Um, original period style hot rod style interior Naga hide, tan Naga hide, large pleats, carpeted floor, period original style dash again all these components came out of the other car really neat turn uh, factory turn metal dash there you'll see all the wiring up underneath the dash here factory pedals factory start panel steering column windshield all came out of the original car cal lamps kind of give you a good feel there there's a full curtain kit that comes with this car so this is set up um, so it can take the curtains if you wanted to put it on door shuts beautiful the top the back window is folded up there we actually took photos with it down so you kind of get a feel but a lot of guys like it as a breezer so the wind blows through just becomes a sunshade what a beautiful spot here to shoot this car. So it's got a neat little story about the car. You gotta like that look right there. Black wire spoke wheels, little red pinstripe lines on them, Firestone tires. Let's see here, Firestone tires are 716s on the rear.
Cars like this with original style look and all steel are pretty hard to find um, with all these original Henry components on it and chassis. Again updated Columbia 2 speed in the back. 36 Ford uh, modification bones in the rear. So they're split in the rear but they're not split in the front. I like this car. It's a neat car. Again, the uh, we'll show you the top bows. I don't know if I showed you the inside here. I did on the other side. Doing several cars. You'll see one peeking in the background there. Go to Spud's Garage where we're definitely going to have more. We will spend some time under the hood and we'll do a little undercarriage here for you like we always do. We'll probably even take this old girl for a drive. Nice little updated gauge pack kind of settle there. Again, upholstery wise. This is the time we tell you to, well, let me get in. I haven't got in yet. Then I'll tell you to get in. I'll get in first. Seventy-one hundred sixty-nine miles on the odometer at time of uh, inspection here. Updated thirty-nine gearbox. Heck, we'll fire this old girl up. Why not? Get both feet in here so I can do that. I said hopped up, I mean it is sweet. Cold right now, so we're gonna warm it up a little bit. here has the vacuum wiper controls that comes down to here through the body like it would have done like Henry would have done it open the cow vent there show you it opens again like we said we'll take it for a drive nice little hot rod dual exhaust fit and headers Anyway, you get the idea. Thanks for listening to me. Go to Spud's Garage, hang on to the end of the video. Alright, let's look under the hood of this little roadster. This is really sweet. Period style hot rod is what I talked about on the walk around. And really, when you get underneath the hoods, very much that. Um, it's a 276 cubic inch flathead V8. So it's hopped up with a little like three quarter camshaft kind of thing. Has uh, 276 would be a 4 inch crank or stroke with a 3 and 5 sixteenths overbore from what I know. Uh, has Edmonds. These are probably original Edmonds heads. These are not reproductions from what I can tell. Edmonds head and Edmonds aluminum intake manifold. Has a uh, oil system, oil filter system in it. Has a dual Stromberg 97 carbs in it. Factory style uh, generator with an 8 volt battery. Uh, fan, uh, generator driven f uh, cooling fan. Dual water pumps. Really just kind of neat and tidy. Again, period style hot rod. Factory fuel pump right there. Factory style fuel pump. All cloth wiring here. The factory VIN is a B VIN is down here. I know it's going to be hard to catch it. I'm not going to catch it with a video camera, but we know it's there. So Model B with a Model 18 style flathead V8 in it hopped up. Go over here to the other side. It's kind of nice where we can have both sides up here and take a peek. Nice little teapot air filters there, louvered. 
got Fenton headers on it. I don't know if I mentioned that on that side, but we'll get over to this side and share that with you. So the factory VIN where it's, it's supposed to be on this, on the frame, it has a uh, 39 transmission in it, has a uh, Columbia 2-speed that's set and high. Uh, you could hook the controls to it. It's functional. You can move it in and out by hand, but he does not have the vacuum system set up on it. Nice little uh, radiator tubes here. Beats having those long hoses. Again, Edmonds intake manifold, Edmonds custom heads, acorn nuts on it, Fenton headers. We're thinking you get the idea. Definitely go to spudsgarage.com. Beautiful day here in Camp Verde, but hang on to the end of the video. All right, got this little hot rod warmed up. Take it for a little spin like I promised you. Doing this one-handed sometimes is a challenge. Second. It's like shipping butter. Third. What a better gig. Beautiful morning, 70 degrees. Cruising into Deuce Roadster. Hey, go to spudsgarage.com. Hang on to the end of the video. You'll definitely find more. All right, we talked about the Roadster having a uh, full curtain kit, and he has had it on the car. Let's see the uh, post right there that slide into the, the door stanchion. The boot for when it's down. All that comes with it. And then over here is the Columbia 2 speed. That if you decide to hook it up so you can go to low to high, not sure you really need to. It's all the controls are right there. Have a great day. All right, let's take a look at the undercarriage. We'll actually have a few shots up on the lift, but uh, just so bright. Um, really neat car. Factory style front suspension. We'll get some light in here. It's been upgraded with juice brakes on it So 40 Ford style juice brakes on it has a uh, dropped axle in it like a super bell that kind of thing Factory buggy spring style front end non-split wishbones factory chassis It's just cool um, Spoke wheels with uh, two-tone, two-line striping on it. It has uh, uh, 550 16s in the front. Again, this is all Henry hood and fenders. Flathead there, hopped up 276. Custom exhaust in it. 39 gearbox. The floor pans, obviously, are right on the money. Columbia two-speed axle in the back here. It's set in high. You, he has the controls that could be installed in it if you wanted a minute. Cover the tire size in the walk around video. I know that in the rear. There's the Columbia and you can see those uh, 36 Ford wishbones. They actually wrap around the back of the axle here. And it's a pretty common hot rod upgrade at the time. Batteries down low down there on the right side. Again, juice brakes, buggy spring rear. We know you're getting a full idea. You've done a full walk around. You kind of get a feel for this car. I love my gig. This is the hardest part of the job, kneeling over and doing this kind of thing. Kind of get a look there at how that uh, 36 rear wishbone's done. Heck, floor pans. Anyway, we're getting to the end of the video. Thanks for listening to me. Go to spudsgarage.com. Factory cross steer, non-split bones in the front. Anyway, there you go. Go to spudsgarage.com. Might have a little bit more for you.